and turn it over to Larry Sprigg, who's tracking it all for us. Yeah, flood watch. Flood watch in effect for the air. Take a look at downtown Boone. Heavy, heavy rainfall down there on uh, King Street. Not a lot of traffic at the moment there. First one Doppler radar. Starting to see the heaviest bands of shower activity moving into the western part of Mecklenburg County. Starting to track into the area. So that's a part of our weather picture. A lot of rainfall. Once again, the bulk of the heaviest rain is still west of Interstate 77. you got travel plans headed up uh, maybe Highway 74, westbound Interstate 85, southbound. You'll certainly encounter some showers. Rainfall total now, some of this may be overestimated. Seven to nine inches Lincoln and Statesville. I think those areas can see well over five, maybe up to six inches. Shaw Metro area, anywhere from maybe two up to three inches of rainfall over the next 24 to 36 hours. It's going to be a very, very warm day today. Unseasonably mild, uh, very humid out there. Temperatures this afternoon will be in the mid and upper 70s. Even a couple of thunderstorms are possible out there today. Showers continue. Uh, uh, Chris Mulcahy in the Chevy Storm Tracker along Interstate 80. Five over in Gaston County. Rain started moving to that area. How's it looking where you are, Chris? Oh, Larry, right now it's coming down in sheets. We're on the western side of Gaston County. Tough to still see, but you can hear the intensity of the rain. But coming back to me real quick, I, I want to talk about the temperatures that Larry is bringing up. Right now we have a dew point of 69 degrees. That is just storm and rain fuel. Whenever dew points are above 65 during the summertime, that's usually prime time for a developing shower or thunderstorm. Whenever it's at this point, we're pretty saturated in the morning. You could see yesterday that moisture was starting to roll in. So the heaviest rain right now is on the western side of our viewing area. I was looking at rain totals so far this morning. Here close to Gastonia, we've only seen about a quarter of an inch. Around the Charlotte area, just about two tenths. Looking at Shelby's airport, well, they're seeing close to three quarters of an inch, 0.82 inches to be precise. So definitely the heaviest rain is on the western side, but here on 85, we're going to continue to see that rain pick up. You can also expect this to pick up on the southern and southwestern side of the 485 loop coming up here pretty soon. So this is going to be round one of many pulses of rain. They're going to be in and out over the next couple of days. So drive safe and watch for any of those low lying roads that are usually prone for flooding. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulkey reporting from the Chevy Storm Tracker, Ruby Durham.